Hey! Well, we found him. We're racing. All right, well, we met up to the rest of the gang here. Dee and I had decided we were just going to go independently and not purchase the Carnival Transfer Shuttle today. The rest of the gang purchased the shuttle pass, and we're down here at the same time as them, so we'll see how it goes when we get up here to the shuttles. The shuttle pass to the Carnival, I believe, was about $16 for a round-trip ticket. But I went online, and it looks like for 11 Canadian, you can do the same thing, which works out to about 8 or $9 US. So we're learning as we go. <laughs> So we are hopping on the Ogden Point Cruise Shuttle. We just have to pay when we get up here at the place, I guess. I know. All right, well, Google misinformed us a little bit. It ended up being 15 US per person round trip. So we ended up paying almost the same as what was on the ship. I think we saved $2. Uh, and the last shuttle leaves from over on the other side at 10.45 to head back to the ship. What are we looking at? Like we've never seen a rabbit in our lives. You guys are freaking out over a rabbit? A jackrabbit. A jackrabbit? That's funny. We're all like, oh, it's a rabbit. rabbit. It's not like it was a whale. <laughs> I know. We are going to be making one stop in front of the Empress Hotel right downtown. And then we're going to be making our second stop two blocks up in the shopping district. Uh, the second stop is going to be the pickup stop. So if you choose to get off on the first stop, you're going to walk straight ahead up the street to Fort, Fort and Government Street. Shuttles run every 10, 15 minutes, but 1045 is the last shuttle back to your place. Nice. That's the Oh. Victoria, we need a beaver tail. Is that not? He's on a bus full of people singing that, guys. That's not how the, that's my new uh, song of Victoria. No, they love beaver tails and they know how much I love beaver tails. All right, so the shuttle has dropped us off here at Government and Fort, which is only one block off from Beaver Tails. How convenient is that? So we literally have to walk one block. Well, look, I'm seeing gelato. I'm seeing a gelato good stuff here. Anyway, one block to Beaver Tails. This is like all of Canada in one <laughs> store window. Except there's no Tim Hortons. Wow, Martin. that's true. I'm so excited to be in Canada again. I was going to do a spin, but you came over here so excited I had to spin right back. Well, there's nothing really fun to look at, but yeah, I'll, I'll have to do a spin when there's more entertaining stuff to look at. But I'm so excited. Ah, the refreshing sound of sirens and the smell of beaver tails. I can't hear myself. Ah! I'm going to get hit by a car, but I need video of beaver tails. You guys, we are about to get a taste of those sweet, sweet beaver tails. What number? Wait, wait, wait. What number are you getting today? Four? No, wait. You're getting the maple one? That's apple cinnamon. Yeah. Okay, let's look and see. what. Let's decide. There are our flavors. Number three maple was delicious, but we have to decide whether we want something else or not. You got to get maple when you're here, right? Ah, oh, so good. Warning, these beaver tails are made from real stuffed beavers. You! I got one of my own. Do you see what I have? You're sharing. You see what I have? I do. That's a nice looking beaver tail.
What have you got there? I got a beaver dog. A beaver dog. I won't say what we just called it a minute ago. That's yeah, fine. That's, yeah. that's too hot for you two. I have chocolate all, all over my face, but I have to document this newfound creation. Mm, it's got to be good. Oh, that's good. Okay. It's oh, like we saw it. It's a corn dog. Basically, a better corn dog. Made with beavers' <laughs> tails. I don't know. We love it. <laughs> Where? Oh, gosh, y'all. I told you. I can't. Look, I had chocolate on my face. I can't be looking in, in, in professional. Now it's time for the inaugural beaver tail eating Canada spin. Why is everybody so disapproving? Because it's like Canadian and you're in Canada. Canadian. Canadian spin. There you go. You misheard me. Mm, so did the whole internet. Mm, <laughs> that's good, but now it's gone. Aw, you'll have something to look forward to soon. Yeah, we won't be back to Canada until uh, April of what, 2020? But not here. I hope they have beaver, beaver dogs. <laughs> They have poutine Ricky here too, but I, I didn't go for the poutine yeah. yet. So. That was good, y'all. <laughs> we're sufficiently loaded up with all things beaver. Now we're going to do some shopping. Hard attack. Holy moly. Hard attack. Look, clearance. What is that? Maple. Oh, the maple cream cookies. Favor sent us some maple cookies. Yeah, you guys sent us these. Yes, from Canada to ATB. <laughs> these shot glasses are so cute, I can hardly bear it. Oh! Oh. Yeah, okay. All right, fine. D disapproves. Hardworking, carefree, and thrifty. Hardworking, carefree, and thrifty. That is totally me. All right. August, baby. <laughs> this shirt is so cute, I can hardly bear it. <laughs> no? No you are, I'm just ignoring you. Um, no disapproval. Good friend, independent, and honest. That's me. It doesn't say full of yourself. <gasps> Rude. Wait, this shirt is so cute I can hardly bear it. <laughs> going back with you. No! Dee's tired of my jokes, even though it's the same one over and over. That's cute. Oh, we didn't see any of those. Well, we saw humpbacks. We didn't see orcas. Perfect. I need those in my life. Good choice. Good choice. I got one of these pins last time I was in Canada. So this time I think I need this one. Yes. That is utterly adorable. Is it an otter? I don't know. It's a beaver. It's a beaver. Well, I just defended it by calling it an otter. <gasps> beaver tail. It's delicious. It was utterly delicious. Yeah. What in the world? We come all the way to Canada and Favor finds us a Starbucks to go to. Are they closed? You know Tim Hortons would never do this to us. Tim Hortons would be fully open, ready to receive with all of its Canadian glory. Wait, this is good. Do you see what's behind us? Yeah, I did it on purpose. Oh, I'm a Tim professional. Hortons. Favor, find us a Tim Hortons. Oh, she really wants a mug. I no. feel bad. Oh, she's trying to get the destination well, we mug. We can find them in Alaska because apparently it's inside. they're in grocery, grocery stores. stores and we never found any grocery stores. Oh, I forgot she wanted a mug. So if you look well, here, send favor a mug. <laughs> hmm. All right, onward to the next adventure. Aww. All right, we believe we've located another Starbucks that is open until 9.30. We're gonna see if we can remedy this situation. We're on a mission. That's some totem stuff. And we've spied a Starbucks here at Government and Yates. Can't do that. I believe they are open, at least the Google says so. So they have a British Columbia mug, but she's after a Victoria mug. Hmm. They're sold out of the Victoria yeah. mug, but I think, she's, I think she's gonna get a, a British Columbia mug. That's all right. So don't, you don't need to send your one now, she's got That's true. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's being on every corner. <laughs> We have located the waterfront. I don't know that we can see the ship from here. I think we're a little too far off. The buildings are in the way. It's, uh, it's over there somewhere. Oh, 
Lush. Oh, I can smell that all the way out here. SOS. I need all this. You need some beaver pencils, moose pencils. They sell sharks in here. Sharks and bears. Mooses. Yeah, sharks. Like baby shark. Da -da 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 -da. <gasps> cute. That's so cute, I can hardly. Okay, fine. Enough of that. Yes! I need to go to Set Owns. Oh, we can uh, try and win the Canadian lottery. I want to get Le Slurpee. Wait, they have Ghostbuster Slurpees. You see how they just blew right by 7 Eleven? Didn't even want to go. Whale, whale, whale. <laughs> you found some cute socks. Oh, these are cute too. Oops. Not that ostrich. Oh, those are killer. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh my gosh, they really do. Uh, this is almost like being back at the sock store in Portland, Maine. Wow, I like these. I just was looking at those. <laughs> Multicolor. Wow. Yes. Good night. I'll be right here if you need me. <laughs> what? Oh, hey. Oh. What is it? Oh, it's a necklace? It's not wanting to focus, but it's cute. Oh, oh dear. Here we go. It's Dee's Magical Focus Presentation. I'm also tapping the screen trying to help. There we go. Nice. This is the most Canadian footage I've ever recorded. Why does every place sell poop and droppings? Gosh, and then Dee's the one who picked it up. She's like, you want some Keller Rail droppings? No, that's gross. This is like the Canadian sportswear section, like, like jerseys it. and go sports. And no, this is just cute. Oh, well, it's sports can be I like cute. The lettering on it. Sports are not cute. Sports can be cute. Says you. Eh. <laughs> and I know everything about sports, so. That mug is so cute, I can hardly bear it. No, no, no. I'm used to it at this point. <laughs> Well, it is finally starting to get dark. We're going to come over to the Visitor Information Center, see if we can meet up with the folks for the tour from Discover the Past. So pretty! All right. Uh oh, gotta get them selfies. So well, I'm gonna see. We just strolled down here to the visitor center, and this is where we pick up the uh, tour from Discover the Past walking tours. And we're doing their evening ghost tour option. So lots of history, lots of spooky, lots of fun, and Ooh. lots of lots of selfies. Apparently, <gasps> that's a good one. You're gonna have to put it on the gram. <laughs> And that all of the stories I'm going to share with you tonight come to us from very real people just like you. Luckily, we don't have to make these things up. The, the truth of Victoria's weird history is actually much stranger than anything we can invent. And you'll come to see that. Now, that was the site of the largest Lekwungen burial ground when the Europeans arrived. So the Lekwungen people, whose traditional territory this is, part of the larger Coast Salish group of people who occupied territory all around here. Ernest Pendre, the eldest son of the family, was riding in the family's carriage along the road over there past the house when the horse was startled. It reared up and it pulls the carriage out from underneath him. Ernest Pendre was on the ground, just in time for one of those huge carriage wheels to roll across his vulnerable young neck. <laughs> The oldest part of the Empress dates to 1908, and it's the part over there where the Canadian flag, flag has been flying. All the rest of it, all of this was added on over the years. There's an elderly woman. Sometimes they describe her with a cane, sometimes not. She's always looks like she's preparing for bed, and she says so. She never seems to be talking with you, though. It's like she's talking at you, telling you that she's getting ready for bed and she needs to find her room. <laughs> But what they got was not the usual professional hanging that happened here, where death was pretty quick. What they got down there was that when Joe fell through the trap door, what didn't happen? Oh, his neck didn't break. Yeah, right, his neck didn't break. Especially with the seagulls coming. This is why I always wear a hat. 
to be here. <laughs> but Charles and me, they, they're still here. And you can't work here for very long without encountering them. But like I said, they're the kinds of ghosts that people want to have around. Helpful ghosts. Yeah. Well, sometimes the staff here, especially the last ones on, they, they are working through the checklist and they look down at the bottom of the checklist and wow, the things aren't crossed off, but the tasks just seem to be done. Those rocking chairs haven't been there for a very long time. But on cold nights in the winter when the staff go out the back and they start to hear unmistakable sound of the wooden rockers creaking back and forth. The At the time, it was not a lush cosmetic store. This was downtown Victoria's funeral parlor. And our young man, he was a very sensitive soul. He did not like the idea that he lived and worked next to a building full of dead bodies, right? <laughs> That night by the marge of Lake La Barge, I cremated Sam McGee. Now that poem goes on and on, and Sam McGee was from Tennessee where the cotton bloom and blows. It is actually a ghost story. If you don't know it's a ghost story, you gotta look it up for yourself. The poet's name is Robert Service, and that's who we're talking about here. Eventually, his poems would make him so famous, his nickname became the Bard of the North. Gosh, I don't feel like I'm not in focus. Anyway. So we just, ghosts are making the camera blurry. Hey, you never know. So we just wrapped up our a tour with Discover the Past. Cool ghost tour, hey, a lot of history. They even referenced Robert Service and the poetry that we learned about yeah. in the uh, Days of 98 show at Skagway. Chris was an amazing tour guide, very yes. knowledgeable, and uh, really made sure he got into the detail of all of the, the stories. Oh yeah. We enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. But anyway, we're heading back over here now to catch one of the last shuttles back to the ship. We wish we had longer here in Victoria. It's but beautiful. I feel like we've made the best of our time. Yeah. So. Oh, That's right. We gotta cross the street. <laughs> ah! Back to the ship we go. But thanks again to the Victoria Visitors Bureau for hooking us up with yes. the attractions pass and to discover the past walking tours. That was awesome. It was really, really good. And I'm glad we got to do something in Victoria that not everybody does. So if you guys are here on vacation, on a cruise ship, True. check it out. It's something neat to do that you can't do everywhere. Definitely. The history is amazing. <sighs> We have successfully made it back to the Carnival Legend via the shuttle service. There's a few cute shops and things out here. Well, that's true. We've got a yeah, we've got a few minutes before we have to have to be back on board. We just wanted to make sure we got over to the pier area. Okay. Well, let's wander. Everybody's crowded in the gift shop, running into everything. An orca snow globe. <laughs> Well, <laughs> no. it was very crowded in there. We did a little bit of shopping. We're like, let's shop. Just kidding. Let's not. Let's get back on the ship. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't uh, actually have to be back on board until 11.30 p.m., but the last shuttle from downtown was 10.45. So, wanted to make sure we were back in time. I appreciate that. And we are. <laughs> hey, look, the flower. Yeah. Look at Dee taking all them pictures. I must say I enjoy these dancing men that they brought out to entertain us as we go back to the ship. Whoa, whoa, get it boy, get it boy. I thought you were gonna dance and entertain me too. Oh yeah, nice. Night. Buenos noches. We're not in Spain, Mexico. I want that shadow off my face. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy. <laughs> so much shadow going on. But How do you say good night in French? Bonne nuit.
Bonui. Even though we're just in Canada, but well, there were some there French, French signs. signs. Um, Bonui. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are going to sleep. Uh, it is, is it like 11. I don't even know. 10.55. It's like it's 11. 11. So I think we have to get up about 6-ish. We gotta grab some breakfast. Debarkation yeah. is in the morning. Bright and early. We got an early-ish flight. Our Alaska cruise is over. It was amazing. Yeah. Here's a tip. Go to Alaska. Go to Alaska. Best tip ever. It's beautiful. And not as cold as people think it. I mean, it's cold. That's true. I we thought it was going to be colder. We went early May, and it is cold. You mm. will need layers. You need a coat, a hat, gloves. But it wasn't like bitterly freezing or anything right. like that. So pretty. We're going to come back. Yeah. Like every two years. Oh Yay. my gosh. I don't even know. <laughs> but good night for now. We will yes. see you in the morning for mm -hmm. debarkation and and bye and stuff. So. so I'm really. I'm like, I'm like more sad about this than I, I am a lot of other cases. Oh man. <laughs> I'm sad. Alright, good anyway. night. See you tomorrow. Bye, we're going to sleep. Okay, all that. I'll see you Okay, bye. Bye. Good, good morning. morning. We are back in Seattle, I assume. I haven't looked out the window. Yeah, we are. It's 6.15. Oh no, alright, we're going to go grab some <laughs> breakfast. Breakfast opened at 6 o'clock on Lido. So we have about an hour until our meeting point to get off the ship. But we don't talk about that. No, we don't, even though it's impending. So we're off to get some breakfast. Yes. And then debark and then fly and All we don't talk stuff. about that. So no. good morning for now. Morning. We hungry. <laughs> Bye. I'm not hungry. Well, I'm not really that hungry either, but it's we hot. gotta eat so we can live. Bye. Bye. Gross, it's a booger. So Dee got a little sampling of breakfast from the madhouse that is the Lido breakfast buffet. <laughs> I'm gonna go see if I can brave it myself now. I got a slightly heartier selection of breakfasts, yogurts, milks, as well as a plate full of coffee, which I'm sharing with Dee, of course. There you went and got some goodies. Look at all that goodness. Dee is saying goodbye to her balcony now. Oh no. Okay, go go visit your balcony one more time. Bye. Did you see how she just slammed that door in our face? She is out there celebrating. She like get it. You know what? We're gonna lock this balcony. We're gonna lock it. We're gonna leave her out there. Oh, oh no, she trapped. Oh help! She gonna stay in Seattle, y'all. Oh no. You can't leave me on my balcony. But you love it so much. Like you're missing someone. <laughs> So you don't want to live on your balcony forever? I mean, I mean it's kind of chilly. That's true, but let's have one last balcony spin. Um, I don't think the balcony is big enough for us to vote. You know what? We could probably pull it off. Oh good. my gosh, we're professionals. <laughs> well, I was going to switch to that side, but then you would disappear. You did. Wow! Get real close, because I don't want to hold my camera over the water. <laughs> there we go. I don't, have, oh, my I don't have the wrist strap on. You can so. go to Alaska. Uh -huh. Probably should get a balcony. Okay. You don't have to. There's lots of room on deck, but it's just there's something about it that just makes it more special. That's what she said. Yeah. Listen to the lady. We spent a lot of time. Not as much as we could have. That's true. But we did spend a lot of time out here, and it mm. was just nice. Yeah, we definitely could have spent more time on the balcony, but it was good to have. Yeah. Bye, Seattle. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna cry. Bye, bye. She's gonna cry at the end of the no. series, y'all. So our flight is at 11:30. We're national series. I know. We meet at 7:15 back in the uh, dining room. So I think we'll have plenty of time. We just have to catch an Uber over to the airport. And yeah, yeah. five and a half hours. We were kind of scared of like 11:30 a.m. We were like, oh my gosh, is that too early? But it Hopefully. feels like it's gonna be okay. If the ship had been delayed, yeah, we'd be in trouble. But we're right on time. As long as security is pretty quick. That should be fine. So. Alright, well I guess we'll go to the dining Bye from our balcony. Goodbye balcony, I love you. We're going to our meeting point. <laughs> I guess that's a fueling barge coming in to load them up for next time maybe. We live here. We are right now, we live here. <laughs> this is our house. Debarkation has begun. Or is it disembarkation or both? Ah, it doesn't matter, we're getting off the ship. Selfie. It's selfie video. Bye. 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 We want to stay on like three more weeks. Selfie video. That's new. I know. <laughs> hey.
So we made it down to the rideshare tent here outside of Pier 91, and it was a good little hike to get down here, but apparently there is a shuttle. We didn't know that we could have taken a shuttle to get ourselves down here, but... Now we know, and now we you know. <laughs> had a nice little hike. But our Uber is on the way, and we're heading to the airport. <laughs> I can't even see the ship to cry No, at. you can't. All you're That's crying at is buildings. Because <laughs> we walked like eight miles to get here. It's it was not eight miles. miles. It might have been like, was it a quarter mile? Maybe. Half mile? I don't know. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. 